All right, in this SAT question, I'm going to talk about subject-verb agreement. And this kind of subject-verb agreement is with a prepositional phrase. So really important skill for the SAT. It comes up a lot. So by prepositional phrase, I just mean a phrase beginning with a preposition that's kind of describing a noun. So prepositional phrase. Remember, prepositions are words like to indicate location or you know what time something is where it's like of at on to with and so forth so we want to be on the lookout for these words and a lot of times we'll see them and they'll be uh, you know between a subject and a verb and the prepositional phrase that they create it's going to be filling up all the space between the subject and the verb so the one I'm talking about in this sentence is of the contract of the contract so notice that it's between a noun, the word details, and a verb, the word has. So we especially want to check out these when there's an underlined verb. Um, you know, sometimes we want to be thinking about, well, hey, what is its subject? What has not yet been announced? And if we see one of these sitting there, these prepositional phrases, we can actually cross them out because they're not essential. And that's going to help us hear the subject verb agreement. So let's try reading it now. Although the details has yet not yet been announced. All right, that sounds wrong. What about if we changed it to the details have not yet been announced? All right, that sounds like English to me. So read these once you cross off the prepositional phrase, read it out loud to yourself if you're taking a test to read it and move your lips. And you should be able to hear the subject for agreement a lot more easily without that phrase.